Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to set up your cost of firing for your Genesis controller. So first, from the idle screen, we want to press the menu button to get into the menu. And then we want to scroll down until we find the configuration. So then select that. And then in the configuration menu, we want to scroll down until we see cost setup. So once you get cost setup, select that. And then here's where we're going to en enter our cost of firing information. So the first line, it's asking you for the cost per kilowatt hour for your area. So if you want to change that, just press on the value itself. And then here you can change it to whatever the cost per kilowatt hour is in your area. So in our area, it's seven cents per kilowatt hour. And that would have been 70 cents. So I want to do 0 0.07 for seven cents. And you can go to the tenth of a penny. So say you want to do 7.1 pennies per kilowatt hour. So type in a one there and, and now you've got 7.1 cents per kilowatt hour. So then if that's what you want, we'll type save. And then now we're back to our cost setup again. So next you need to set up the wattage per each zone for your kiln. So the kiln I'm using is a single zone kiln. So for that you want to type in and put zero for the wattage for zone one, zero for the wattage for zone three, and press save. And then for zone two we're going to press on the value again like we did before and then type in the wattage for zone two. So it's a single zone, our wattage is 1800 watts. So then we'll type that in and press save. So you'll type in whatever that is and press save and now we've got our cost set up. Now if you have a two zone kiln you'll enter it for zone one and two and for a three zone kiln you'll enter the wattage for each zone. So then once we've got that finished we'll press the back button and then you can use the home to take you back to the idle screen. Now to see your cost of firing after you've done a firing we go ahead and press the menu button and then press data menu and then you can press last firing status and this will give you all of the information from the last firing and then at the very bottom if you scroll all the way down you'll see the cost for the last firing so that will calculate it each time you do a firing for you and you can check it after each firing so then we'll get back to the idle screen so press back and then home and then we'll be back at the idle screen and that's it for cost of firing but remember to like us on Facebook, sign up for our e-newsletter, or check our website for more information and tips. Thanks!